Before we begin, make sure you're using the latest version of Trust Wallet. That way you have access to the newest features and the latest security updates. Okay, so sending crypto, that's really easy in Trust Wallet. It's simply a matter of selecting the send option right there. And then you can scroll through the different asset balances that you have. Let's choose the one that you want. You can also use the search function. For example, I can type in BNB, select that. And then from here, you'll paste in the address of the wallet that you want to send the crypto to. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and paste. And then you can choose the amount. Here, I can choose max, for example, or an amount that's less than that. So I'll go ahead and adjust this number so it's a little bit less. Then when I'm happy with everything, I can go ahead and select next. Here, I can see the different details, the option to pay with flex gas as well. If I'm happy with everything, I can go ahead and select continue. And that's pretty much it. From there, you can go ahead and check the transaction details. And as you can see, this one is still pending. It depends on the blockchain. So there may be different times depending on what asset you're sending and on what chain. And as you can see there, it just went completed as well in real time. If you want to see more details, I can click on the Blockchain Explorer or View on Block Explorer option. And this will show everything in full transparency on chain. I'll show you one more way to go ahead and send crypto. Uh, rather than using the send button, you can also search for an asset or just go through your asset balances. So for example, here I can say, I might want to send some ETH on base. So I can select ETH, then go send from here, paste in the address, select the amount, and then select next. Just X that out. And similarly, I can search using the search option in the top right. Okay, I can select that. And again, that brings us back to where we can go ahead and search for any number of assets. I can use a blockchain dropdown as well to filter through, show assets on a specific chain, and then to go back, I select the dropdown again, all networks. And that's pretty much it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.